Well, now what about the next four hours? Well, it's a very important day for racing with the running of the 2000 guineas, and that classic is the culmination of our outstanding ITV6 that includes two other races at Newmarket and three from Haydock Park. Then, in sports special, ice hockey from Boston with Stanley Cup semi-final action, the Bruins versus the holders Montreal Canadiens. And down in sunny Florida, the world's greatest high divers compete in a world record challenge. And for it to count, the winning dive will have to be over 157 feet. And that's got to be a spectacular plunge by any standards. Half times at 3.45 are followed by today's wrestling at 4. But first, let us leave sport for about five minutes, in which time ITM present their lunchtime bulletin. The newscaster is Rory McPherson. Mrs Thatcher has started her first full working day as Prime Minister with handshakes for the crowd waiting in Downing Street and meetings with the men likely to be in her new cabinet. The cabinet is expected to be announced at about four o'clock this afternoon. A succession of leading Conservatives will call to Downing Street this morning, but so far there's been no sign of Mr Edward Heath. Our political correspondent, Glyn Mathias, reports. There was a small crowd of sightseers and well-wishers in Downing Street this morning when Mrs Thatcher arrived after spending the night in her Chelsea home. She's expected to move into Downing Street to live as soon as she can. Her big task today, the formation of her first cabinet and interviews with all the prospective cabinet ministers. Among the first to arrive was Lord Hailsham on his bicycle. He's been Lord Chancellor before and will probably take the same office again. Then there was Sir Geoffrey Howe, who's universally expected to become Chancellor of the Exchequer. He's got an early budget to think about. Mr Willie Whitelaw squeezed himself out of a mini. Mrs Thatcher's probably told him he's going to be Home Secretary. But what about Sir Keith Joseph, who's seen more than his share of controversy? He badly wants to become Secretary of State for Industry. And who's going to become Foreign Secretary? Mr Francis Pym has recently been doing the job in opposition, but Lord Carrington is also strongly favoured. Mr Jim Pryor is thought likely to carry on with his work on the employment side. He's thought to be the best at working with the unions. Lord Soames was also called to Downing Street this morning. Perhaps there could be a job for him as Minister for Europe. Mr George Younger is almost certain to be Secretary of State for Scotland. But there was no sign of the former leader, Mr Heath and it looks unlikely now that he'll be offered any cabinet post at all. But there should be a post for his former lieutenant, Mr Peter Walker. He did go in to see Mrs Thatcher at number 10 this morning. President Carter has asked his Secretary of State, Mr Vance, to arrange talks with the new British Foreign Secretary as soon as he's appointed. And Mr Carter has said he'll be meeting Mrs Thatcher within a month. Uh, she and I will be exchanging uh, messages and letters uh, we will be meeting with each other uh, next month at the latest in Tokyo, and we've made arrangements to, uh, to have a private uh, meeting so that we can.